Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are here to talk about some makeup items that I've fallen out of love with and I'm just not that into them anymore. I was scrolling through my YouTube, coming up with like video ideas. Sometimes when I'm trying to think of video ideas, I scroll through like my old videos and I see is there anything I should follow up on or any video ideas that I did because I've been on YouTube since like the end of 2015. So are there any older videos that I did that I would like to revisit? And I scrolled through a video. I'll link it down below, but it was something along the lines of makeup I've fallen out of love with. And I thought, you know what? There are some products that I have raved about on YouTube over the years and loved and sung their praises and it's not that I think they're bad anymore but I'm just not that into them anymore. So that's what this video is about. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Kelly and I love all things makeup and beauty. I love talking. I love makeup. I love talking about makeup. So if you like to chat about makeup too, I would love to have you subscribe and be part of the KPLF fam. Why don't we go ahead and jump into the video. If you are interested in the makeup here, this lip combo is Alter Ego by BK Beauty, which is a deeper red, and then surprisingly, the orange shade in Empower from BK Beauty that I didn't expect to love, and I feel like it gave me like a very fall lip that I am into. Also, the eyes are Nomad Cosmetics Ghost Town USA. Not sure if that video is up yet or if it's coming, but if it's up, I will link it. If it's not, stay tuned. Now. I do have five products that I have raved about over the years and I just have fallen out of love with them. I'm just not into them anymore. The first being one of my very first videos on YouTube. I was talking about Makeup Geek eyeshadows. This was like way back in the day. I don't remember if it was like a favorites video or if I was just watching all of my, my Makeup Geek eyeshadows, but I was talking about Makeup Geek eyeshadows. And at one point in time, I had do two Z palettes full. These are all Makeup Geek shadows. There may be one or two that aren't. I think this one might actually be MAC that a friend gifted me. Most of these right here are Makeup Geek. These are Cleona Cosmetics, but back when I first started my channel, I was using my Makeup Geek singles all of the time. Like literally all of the time I was reaching for my singles over palettes. I would get new palettes and like have to force myself not to use my singles. And I know that Makeup Geek is no longer but that's not why I stopped using them. I stopped using them over the years just because I found that I was more interested in palettes. I wasn't interested in singles and curating my color story. I wasn't reaching for them. I don't think there's anything wrong with these shadows. I thought the quality was great. I think the quality still is great. This is what's left of what I have, but I almost feel like it's time for me to say goodbye to them too because I'm not even someone who mixes and matches palettes. I pick one palette, one palette, and that's what I use. I will probably hold on to these Cleona shades. I don't reach for them often. They were very expensive. I actually might only even keep these three and see if I know someone else who wants these two. But like I said, I'm just, I'm just not reaching for singles anymore. And I know you can't get your hands on Makeup Geek. That's not something that's gonna like deter me from using them, but I'm not using them. The reality is I'm not using them. My son is one and I don't think I've used Makeup Geek shadows since he was even born. So just not that into them. I think it's time for them to find a new home. Another type of product like single eyeshadows that I used to be so heavily into and it's not even like I'm not into them anymore. I'm just not that into them anymore. It is liquid lipsticks. I used to be heavy on the liquid lipstick train. There was one video that I recently redid and I talked about Candy K from Kylie Cosmetics and how I loved it and I was going to repurchase it forever and it was the best shade ever and I'm not even really that into Kylie Cosmetics anymore. I do have a Lunar Beauty liquid lipstick which I do love and wear in the shade Perfection. I have Joseph Color Stone which I kind of keep around for sentimental reasons. I don't really wear this one and I did purchase an Unearthly Cosmetics lipstick in the shade Haunted last year. I honestly could have worn this maybe with this lip right here, this look this lip and, and these eyes perhaps, but it's not that I don't like liquid lipsticks. I do. 
I love liquid lipsticks. I don't think they're too drying. I don't think they're bad. I love the longevity of it, but for whatever reason, when I am going to put my lipstick on, I'm just reaching for a traditional bullet lipstick, which is surprising because I was such a liquid lipstick fan, stan, for so long. Like, that was what I wore. I wore liquid lips because I wanted them to last. I didn't want to reapply, and I still really don't even reapply my lipstick that often, but there are bullet lipsticks like the Lunar Beauty or the Full Fantasy one that are more longer lasting and they stay on longer and I just find that my liquid lipsticks are kind of hanging out hanging out not being used tossed to the side and that used to be my go-to the next product is again another type of product but if you've been here for a while then I you may know that I used to uh, create very like intricate eye looks. I would try cut creases. I would try halo eyes. I would put the false lashes on and I usually did a winged liner. When I did a winged liner, I used the KVD tattoo liner. I still think this liner is great. I still think this is like my liquid liner of choice if I'm going to do a liquid liner, but like I purchased this little mini and I have not done a liquid liner since. And I purchased it because I thought, oh, if I go to put a false lash on, I like to do a thin little line, pop the lash on, good to go. I don't wear falsies. I just, like, this is it. I now have two young children. I barely have time to put my makeup on. I'm usually putting makeup on while my son is napping and my daughter's four so she can kind of, like, entertain herself for a while. And my mom is entertaining my son right now and my daughter's napping and that's what I'm trying to, like, get my filming in. So I just don't have the time that I used to for detailed looks. And I honestly can't even tell you the last time that I put a wing on or false lashes. So again, a thing of the past, not that I think there's anything wrong with the KVD tattoo liner. It still would be my liner of choice. I'm just not, just not that into a liner. Another product that I loved for so long were the Becca highlighters. I was such a fan of the Becca highlighters. I had this one in Champagne Pop that I keep around for mementos. You know, I hit pan. It was my only highlighter for a while. I loved it. This was the collab with Jaclyn Hill. I also had like a mini set at one point in time. I know Opal was like a cult classic and I just thought the Becca formula was like perfection, chef's kiss, the best ever. This is one where I have actually changed my opinion on the product. It's not that I think the highlighter is bad, but like, okay, I still want to like glow to the heavens, right? Like I want astronauts to be able to see my highlighter from space, but I don't want it to be chunky. I don't want it to be glittery and I want it to blend in with my skin. Like I want to look like a vampire from Twilight where my skin is twinkling. And I just feel like I have highlighters that do a better job. Like the one I'm wearing today is from Natasha Denona, the Super Glow in Fair. And I feel like these Becca ones are a little bit on the glittery side, a little bit chunkier. And while they do give you like a bam highlight, I think they're a little bit more noticeable. So this is the only one that I have in my collection at this point in time. And I don't have any plans to purchase them in the future. Last but not least, over the years, in many a favorite video, many a monthly favorite, many an end of year favorite, I mentioned the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I said it was my holy grail. I repurchased it so many times. I repurchased large containers. I repurchased small containers. I went through it. I went through it. I went through it. I went through it. And I don't even powder my whole face. I just powder underneath my eyes and my forehead lines, which have gotten, you know, much deeper throughout the years now that I'm about to be 36. But Laura Mercier translucent powder. I was a stan. It was my favorite. It was a cult classic. I loved it. I went through it so much. And I honestly, I just, I now have powders that I enjoy a lot more. So I don't see myself repurchasing the Laura Mercier translucent powder in the future. Not that I think that it's bad, but like the powder that I'm using today is the one from Sigma, the Soft Focus. I really like that one because it does give me more of like a blurred effect. But my favorite powder at the moment would be the Hourglass Translucent Veil Setting Powder, the loose powder, because that one is a lot lighter. It's very, very light. I have dry skin. I have dry under eyes. It's very light and it sets my under eyes without looking heavy and cakey. So if I were to purchase a powder, which I have a few in my collection right now, but if I were to purchase a powder, it wouldn't be the Laura Mercier anymore. And it's not that I think that it's bad. I just feel like I found better. So 
that is it. Those are the five products that I'm just not that into anymore. I once loved them and now I'm just like, you know what? Our time is done. I've been on YouTube for a while. We have gone our separate ways and that's how I'm feeling about that. Some of these things may come back into my life in the future and I may suddenly be a winged liner stand again, but I'm just, I'm not right now and that's okay. I would love to know in the comments down below, what are some products that you've fallen out of love with or like a product that maybe you've recommended to your friends or you've repurchased a ton and as the years have gone by, you've just decided, you know what, I'm not that into you anymore. I would love to know down below. But otherwise, that's going to do it for this video. Sorry I sound nasally. I am feeling a little under the weather. So I am going to go wipe this bright red lip off and go play with my son because otherwise I would have red lipstick all over him. But that's it. I'm done rambling. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.